Hello students. Today we are going to learn about Earth's rotation and revolution. As we know, the Earth is the third planet in our solar system. Our planet is unique for many reasons, but its available water and oxygen are two defining features. Nearly 70% of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Due to this, Earth is also called a blue planet. It is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. It's smaller than the four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, but larger than the three other rocky planets, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. It is the only planet on which life is known to exist. The Earth moves at a constant speed. It follows a counterclockwise direction. The Earth moves in two different ways, rotation and revolution. So, what is the Earth's rotation? The movement of the Earth on its axis is called a rotation. Earth is always moving. Each day, the Earth makes one complete rotation on its axis. The axis is the imaginary line through the Earth that extends from the North Pole to the South Pole. Earth's rotation causes observable patterns like day and night. The light from the sun shines on half of the Earth at any given time. That side is warmer and brighter. It's daytime. The other side of the Earth faces away from the sun. It's dark. So it's nighttime. Since the Earth is always spinning, there is a line between day and night and we pass through it each day. It takes 24 hours for the world to turn all the way around. To make a single day. My dear students, did you know? If the rotation of the Earth makes a day, then what makes a year? The answer to this question is, revolution. Let's learn about revolution. You see, although the Earth is rotating on its axis, at the same time, it also revolves on orbits around the Sun, which is called revolution. And one full orbit all the way around the Sun is, one revolution. And the Earth takes 365 days to complete a revolution that makes up a whole year. Our calendar shows 365 days in a year. However, every four years one day is added to February. Instead of 28 days, February has 29 days. When February has 29 days, we have a leap year. A leap year has 366 days. So, leap year gives us an extra day, called leap day. My dear students, don't get confused with the similarities of the words, rotation and revolution. In astronomy, the circular movement of an object around a center is called rotation. The Earth and other planets rotate around an imaginary line called the rotation axis. Since this axis passes through the Earth's center, the Earth is said to spin or rotate upon itself. Revolution is the movement around an object in a particular path. The Earth's rotation around Sun is called a revolution. My dear students, hope you learned something interesting today. Subscribe the channel for more